Hey guys, welcome to my very first YouTube video. I am so excited to be here. I've been skirting around the idea of starting my own YouTube channel and showing you guys how I get my makeup looks uh, that I post on my Instagram account, which will be listed down below. I just bit the bullet today and decided to film my first tutorial. It's on this look right here. It's a very warm, uh, smoky, kind of romantic eye, I guess. I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, and I've been loving this lately. I've been using it every single day. Um, but enough jabbering, let's get into the makeup tutorial. I know that's what you all have come here for. If you like what you see, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you know you want to, and you know, get ready for some more fun with me, you know? I just wanna have fun here and talk about beauty, talk about girl stuff, and okay, I'm talking too much, let's jump into the video. See you guys soon. Hey guys, welcome to my first video. Bear with me as this is my first time doing a voiceover. I'm starting off by moisturizing my face with my Tarte Maracuja oil, blah, Maracuja oil, and rubbing that in. And then next, I like to start with my brows. I'm using the NYX uh, brow gel in espresso, and I'm using my Anastasia, I forget the number of the brush, but I will list it down below. Um, and I'm just filling in my brows. And next I'm using my primer and it's from Sephora. It's the Beauty Amplifier and it gives a nice all over glow. So I use that before the foundation uh, to allow the foundation to apply better to the skin. And next I'm going in with my L'Oreal foundation and it's the Infallible Pro Glow in numbers 208 and 210. And I'm using my Beauty Blender and stippling that into the skin for a flawless finish. After we make sure that the foundation is all blended in, um, we are moving on to the eyes next. And we'll be using our primer first, and I'll be using an eye primer from Wet n Wild. You can get it at the drugstore, it's super, super cheap. I think I got it for maybe like five bucks at CVS. And I love this stuff. I use it every single time I do an eye look, and I'm just putting a little bit on my finger and rubbing it onto the eyelid. Next we're going in with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette and we're going in with Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange for our transition shade. And we're doing a transition shade here in the crease so that the rest of our colors that we use later on will blend in evenly with each other and will allow us to get a nice smoky eye. And I'm using my 228 Luxe Crease Brush from Zoeva. Then after I'm satisfied with the color payoff, I will go in with a clean brush from Sigma, and it's the E40 brush. And I'm just making sure the, the, that the edges, I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'm making sure that the edges are nice and um, blown out and there's no harsh lines. Next, I'm going in with the color Red Ochre and I'm putting this a little bit lower into the crease so that the um, burnt orange and the raw sienna shade shows through. 
and we're just darkening up the crease and outer corner. And then going back in with a clean blending brush and blending out the edges. Next I'm going in with Cypress Umber and I am darkening up the crease and outer corner. I'm using the 227 Lux Soft Definer Brush from Zoeva to, um, to do this. And again, I'm just putting the colors lower and lower as we build on the colors. So for the darkest shade, I'm putting it lower into the crease. Now we're going into the lid colors and I mixed Vermeer and Primavera and I'm using my uh, 226 smudger brush from Zoeva and tapping that co those colors onto the lid and then slightly cutting the crease in the inner corner and just making sure that I get the most color payoff as possible. Next, I'm going in with a different brush. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm just making sure that um, the other colors that I'm just making sure that well, I'm just making sure that there's no harsh lines and that all of the colors blend seamlessly together. Next, I'm going in with Vermeer with my Zoeva 234 brush and just adding a nice brow bone, brow bone highlight. Now I'm just going off camera and doing the other eye off camera. And then I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in medium and um, highlighting the under eye and also concealing any kind of dark circles or uh, fine lines that I have underneath my eyes. And then I'm going in with my Beauty Blender and tapping that in to disperse the color. Then going into the other eye and doing the same thing. You don't need too much of this product, it's super pigmented. Um, I actually used a little bit too much so it took me a little bit longer than normal to blend it all in, but it, it blends in pretty easily, even with that much product underneath your eye. <laughs> And then balancing out the rest of the face, I'm going in and using the same concealer on my forehead, around my nose where I get a little bit of redness, and my chin and outer corners of my mouth as well. And also the bridge of my nose. And dabbing that in and tapping that into the skin to blend it out. And this just highlights the face. It brings out the features that you want to bring out and highlight. <laughs> then I'm doing happy dance. And I'm using my Fiona Styles uh, Invisible Finish Loose Setting Powder in Madison. And I love this stuff. It kind of, it hides the fine lines underneath my eyes. So I'm using my Beauty Blender and I'm putting this underneath the eye to set the concealer. And then I'm going in with my favorite product. It's the Hula Bronzer. And I'm just slimming out the face and carving out those cheekbones. I'm also using the same bronzer to bronze my temples to make the face seem a little bit slimmer. And then I'm telling you to get that double chin girl. <laughs> um, I also use the same bronzer to um, bronze the jawline as well to make the jawline seem a little bit slimmer as well. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Highlight Blush in Mauve and putting this on the apples of my cheeks. 
And then going in with my Jaclyn Hill Becca Highlight Face Highlight Palette, and I'm using Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and my temples. The bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, highlight everywhere. Love that highlight. Then we're going back to the eyes using the Anastasia palette and we're going into red ochre and putting this on the lower lash line as our first color. I'm sorry, did I say red ochre? Yes, we're using red ochre on the lower lash line and blending that in as our first color. Then we're going into Cypress Umber, and I'm using a smaller brush to um, make the color seem a little bit darker. And I'm just using this on the outer corners of my lower lash line. Then using Vermeer for an inner corner highlight. And then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Love this stuff. I've been using this stuff for years and I can't seem to put it down. It makes the eyelashes look voluminous and also gives a lot of length to the lashes. Then I'm going in with my falsies. They are the Ardell Wispy Clusters in 602 and applying those to the eyes. And then I'm trying to figure out what lip color to use. And then I decided to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cans. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my first YouTube video. I hope I didn't do too awful on this voiceover, and I hope you guys were able to follow along. Until next time, guys, see ya!